Hello and welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to have a look at some pencils I got from John Hall from right here and I got a few weeks before I got to send the stuff back uh, uh, certainly the Lamy ABC uh, I had the fountain pen version of this pen for many years but uh, I hope I can look at the mechanical pencil version soon. And he also sent the Twispy Junior Pagoda in 0.5. So I want to have a look at this pencil as well. <coughs> so it's from Twispy, TWSBI. They've been an OEM manufacturer for decades. And this is the cheapest pencil they offer. In the UK you get it for £3.70. Uh, available in 0.5 and 0.7 millimeters. In this grey blue. There's also an orange color called marmalade. And it's also available in white. It has a hexagonal barrel. A bit like a, a pencil. And it has a grip section here. Uh, which... Yeah, makes it very grippy, very nice. Now, the, the problem with this kind of rubberized surface is that sometimes, after a few years, they can deteriorate, they get sticky, they have some sort of oil film on the top. And I think this, this mistake with the material is sometimes less pronounced if you use the pens often, because maybe your fingers will always shift the oil away from the surface but I mean some of those grippy surfaces they deteriorate horribly. Saying that uh, I Twispy is normally a fairly good company. I, I did have some issues with their Twispy precision which I talked about in a previous blog post but overall they you know they're a very good manufacturer of pens so I hope they picked a material that will not deteriorate uh, very soon. And uh, to be honest, I'm fairly confident that this is the case. I mean, mechanical pencils with rubberized surfaces, they are not uncommon. Uh, here's some. Here's a road thing. Yeah. Um, here, Stadler, Schneider, and so on. Yeah, uh, this one. To me, looks more interesting. Now I know interesting is not a word you should normally use because it doesn't mean much. But yeah, I certainly like the look more than this kind of rubberized grip or this kind of rubberized grip. Yeah. So um, good idea, and I, I hope it will stand the test of time. <coughs> I've got a fixed sleeve here, um, four millimeters long. I'll, oh yeah, let's write down all the vitals. The diameters, I'll, I'll measure them later. You know, I don't want to uh, bore you with the details of, of me measuring that uh, on video. So, <coughs> weight, yeah, let's check the weight of this pencil. We got 12.04 gram. Oh, turn it off. Let's leave some space for a diameter and so on. So weight is 12 grams, and that is with the what you get, which is uh, the pencil. There's one lead here, and plus two. So the pencil, at least the one I got, came with uh, three leads. <clears throat> length and so on I also check later. Let's have a look where the center of gravity is. So my my type that I always use. It looks like the middle, maybe a bit in the front. Let's have a look. Well if if you count the whole pencil 
it's a little bit in the front yeah so the pencil seems to be about 15 centimeters long and the center of gravity is about yeah is at uh, 7 out of 15 centimeters okay so at the Acer we just had a quick look the other Acer is quite long this is quite good so when you use the other Acer up yeah, you can you can yeah it's used up more and more you can pull it out but it will be held tight here by this clamming mechanism so that's quite useful reminds me of that oh yeah let's put it back reminds me of the twist be precision you now the twist be precision even comes with i think is it is it the spare thesis yeah okay let's have a look at the mechanism let's take it out and if you look at this the way you take the mechanism out this is extremely similar to a uh, road thing tiki yeah. difference here is the road thing tiki the end here of the pipe is plastic uh, here they switch to metal uh, near the end which is a nice touch okay so we, we have got a as the short blast mechanism which is similar to what you'd get on a tiki uh, I don't think tiki is the short blast mechanism yeah. so it's <coughs> possibly inspired by the tiki it wouldn't come as a surprise I mean the new tiki I don't have one here at the moment, um, they are somewhere else. Um, the new Tiki looks kind of similar, but then, you know, many mechanical pencils look similar to each other. <coughs> the, the price, I mentioned that it's only £3.70. The lead it comes with is quite soft, certainly softer than what I would normally call an HB lead. But yeah, overall a very nice pencil. Uh, good value for money. There are, of, of course, similarly priced um, mechanical pencils with brass clutches with brass mechanisms, like here, for example, the Schneider Graphics, I want to talk about very soon. Yeah. But overall, the Twist P is certainly a good value for money. Obviously, the old thing, at least here in the UK, you know, they're very common. You can buy the new Tiki in most high street shops, whereas I've never seen the Twist P mechanical pencils on the high street yet. But they are quite common in uh, mail order shops here in the UK. Okay. <clears throat>